What up guys, it is me, Cobra458, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Airshow when it will not install. So, usually you'll get the message, could not be installed at this time, and it's very annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix Airshow, and all you're going to need is a computer, and that's all. So you're going to need your device and a computer. Hopefully, if you're watching this, you already have your device, uh, hopefully. So, yeah, I have my phone over here, so you guys can see what's happening on my phone screen. So all you want to do is you're going to go to um, iTunes.com, uh, I mean not iTunes.com, you're going to go to a Google search and you're going to search iTunes and you're going to want to make sure you have this. If you already have this, you can skip this step. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the correct website is and I'll have all the links below just to make sure you guys get the correct websites. So, of course, okay, of course it's going to load for a little bit. I don't know why. My Wi-Fi is really good, but I guess so. So, all right, so it's finally decided to start loading, and we're going to go to this website right here, apple.com slash iTunes, and this is what you're going to need right here. This is the correct download place, and that's all you're going to need to do is download and install the software on your computer, and that's all you're going to have to do, and I'll have the link for this below. So just click that download button, and then click download again. So, the next thing you're going to need is, um, Cydia Impactor. You're going to search that, and it's going to come up on, uh, this, whatever browser you're using. And you're going to go to this first result here, Cydia Impactor, cityimpactor.com. So, you're just going to click that. It's going to go ahead and go up to here. And you're just going to click whatever operating system you have. I have Windows, and I have already downloaded it, so I don't need to worry about this. So the third website you're going to need to visit is one I have in the, on, in the description below. And this is basically how you're going to get the IPA for Airshow. So this is an updated link and it will go ahead and start downloading the Airshow right there. I already have it so I'm going to cancel it. And that's all you're going to need. So now once you have all those things downloaded you're just going to exit out. And you're just going to extract them. Uh, the impactor you're going to extract. And you're going to go ahead and move the uh, Airshow IPA to your desktop. So I have the impactor in the Airshow IPA right there. And so let's go ahead and get started. So first you're going to want to plug in your device. So I'm going to plug in my device and you should see it on that screen to the right there. So I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see I have the little symbol right there that it has been plugged in. And it's going to go ahead and open iTunes. So we're going to give it a minute and we'll go ahead and open up iTunes. Hopefully. Uh, if you plug it in the first time, it may install some uh, driver softwares. And yeah, so iTunes should open shortly after this completes or while it's doing that. So you can go ahead and go into iTunes if it starts loading your device up here because that means it's already ready and that this is just an unnecessary pop up updating a driver that you shouldn't even care about. Alright, so um, as you can see, I already have it here. So I can just, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go over here. So, remind me later and just go right here. And then I'm just going to go and make sure everything here is okay. So once this is all loaded up and you see this, you're good to go. You can just exit out iTunes and that's all you need to do. And this will not go away, will it? Alright, there it goes. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your impactor. And uh, you're going to wait for that to open up. So, let's just go ahead and click that move it over there. Go ahead and open up the impactor. So it's going to go ahead and start uh, loading that. And I'm going to delete Airshow off of my device here. So I'm going to show you guys. Let's see, where's Airshow? Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So delete Airshow. Do I have any other Airshows? No, I don't have any more Airshows. So now I have it off my device just to prove it to you. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. Alright, so once this pops up, you're just going to click this. Usually it will already be on this. It will have your name or whatever you named your device and it will have a bunch of characters. Anyway, so once that's pulled up, you can just exit this out. And you want to have this out here on your desktop or anywhere easily accessible. And then you're just going to drag this onto this. And it's going to ask you for your iTunes email login. This goes directly to Apple, so don't worry about it being leaked or anything. So uh, let me see if I can put this in here and see if it will show my password. I type it in. 
Okay, no, it won't, so. <laughs> Alright, so once you type in your information correctly, it's going to go ahead and start doing that. If you look over here on my iDevices screen, you should see it. Um, this action will revoke all replacing any existing Apple dev developer certifi certi uh, blah, ah, certificates. Duh. Okay. Certificates associated with the account. I still didn't say it right. Alright, so just click OK on that. And it's going to go ahead and do that. And once it does its thing, you should see it installed over here. So it's going to sign it. And this will last for seven days. That's how it works, guys. Seven days. That's all it's going to do, seven days. Then you won't be able to open it anymore, and you'll have to sign it again. And hopefully by then they have a new certificate for AirShow that allows you to install it successfully again. But this is how to always get it. If you have a computer, you can always get AirShow no matter what. So if you want to know how to get this AirShow, just comment below, and I'll show you how to get it on your computer like this. And yeah, so it's going to sign the IPA. It might take a little bit. We'll see. And yeah, so... Looks like it's going to be done in just a second. Oh, okay. It is done. And my iDevice has automatically switched over to this screen. You can just exit this out. And now we're just going to focus on this screen right here for now. So I'm going to open up AirShow here. And it's going to say untrusted developer. So we're going to want to go to our settings here. We're going to go ahead and open up that. Then we're going to go to general. We're going to go to device management. So you're just going to click your Apple ID, and you're going to click Trust, then you're in. You just need to go out here, and you just go back in there, and then it should bring up this, and you should say yes. If you're using AirShow via Enterprise Program, you may lose recordings, blah, blah, blah. We recommend you export all, yes, yes. You need to export all your recordings. So now, you can either follow them on Twitter if you want, but it's all set up and ready to go, as you can see here. So you can broadcast. I have to log in, though. Let me uh, log in with a uh, Twitter account. Something useless. Something. Does it show my password? Yes, of course it shows. I'll just use a useless one. Late plugins. Uh. Uh. This is a really old password. Hopefully it works. I had to change all my passwords because some idiot tried to hack me. Of course that was not the right one. And this does work for iOS 10, so... Oh, yes, the old password worked. Alright, so you're just going to do that, and you're logged in, and you can record. And you just click Next Step. And I'm already recording this, but you can just record. So, thank you guys for watching, and that's how you do it. I appreciate it, and make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys next time. It's Cool War 458, signing off.